Hey guys, it's Tiffany Harlick, and I'm here to offer you some astrological perspective into the weather forecast for the first week of September. We're actually going to look at September 1st all the way through September 10th of 2023. And I'm super excited because I have good news for you. The, the forecast looks really good. So I know the last couple of months, maybe six to eight weeks or so, have been a bit of a slog. And this is where it starts to change. The energy changes. It starts to refresh and lighten up and prepare us for the next month ahead. So what's going on, right? First of all, the numerology shifts from a six month to a seven month. And in a seven month, uh, we're also in a seven year. So we get this kind of double rainbow energy of the sevens and the sevens emit this frequency of being on a soul quest of looking at life's deeper mysteries. You know, it's a very good, juicy energy in the metaphysical space. So that's some good news right off the bat. And then as we go into the first week, Venus, which has been retrograde in Leo for the last several weeks, will go direct on the third. So it will, Venus rules our love, our money, our worth, our self-worth, our net worth. And um, Venus shows us how we like to connect in relationship with others. It shows us what we need to be emotionally fulfilled. And while it's in a retrograde cycle, the last several weeks, right, in Leo, the sign of the celebrity, the sign of the heart-centered leader, um, the sign of being the star of your own life, you know, you might have felt some cosmic delays. And if you were traveling, you probably probably felt some travel delays or things that slowed you down in some capacity. Okay. So those type of technical difficulties, that period, that challenging side is waning. It's fading. Venus will be in a shadow period through October 7th. So there's still some things to iron out when it comes to love and money. But it's not like a, a bad news thing. It's just what's being illuminated in terms of your relationship and your finance and things like this. What's coming to awareness right now? Um, it's not this big, dark, heavy thing. It's this release and this return to love and this return to abundance and this return to joy. So I'm happy for all of us about that. Um, on the following day, on the 4th, Mercury is going to trine Jupiter. This is good news, good information positive information exchange. It's a great day to sign up for classes, write your newsletters, um, get content out there, or at least out of your head and onto paper. Mercury is the planet that rules the way that we communicate, the way that we think, um, the way that we understand um, our different learning behaviors, our different learning styles. That's all Mercury stuff. And when it's in a trine, a positive relationship to the planet Jupiter, right, that's when we tend to get good news and ahas and downloads. So Jupiter expands. Jupiter broadens our horizons. Um, Jupiter is like the guru that gets on the magic carpet ride and takes you on a journey. And so this is a very positive aspect. This same day on September 4th, Jupiter is going to retrograde in the sign of Taurus. This is not something to worry about. Um, Jupiter in the sign of Taurus has given us a focus uh, on Taurian things, the physical body. And so this could be a time to do some editing in terms of your physical body, your diet, your workout routine, how you move through life, right? Um, Taurus rules food and finances too. So there's a grounding effect going on. Um, when Jupiter retrogrades, it tends to take on the characteristics of its opposite. So the opposite of Jupiter is Saturn, structure, boundaries, setting something up into foundations. I've heard today people have called me and said, I'm stopping smoking for the 20th time. I'm getting um, healthy groceries again. I'm getting back into this healthier rhythm for my body, some choices that I'm making, some habits that I'm breaking. And so you're going to have some extra astrological uh, oomph behind you if you're making um, some changes and some pivots when it comes to your personal health and well-being, right? So this is good news. Jupiter is going to be retrograde September 4th all the way through the end of the year, December 31st. Uh, this is normal. This is natural. It retrogrades about once a year, right? So over a long period of time, this isn't something that you're going to feel like the inner planets, like Mercury and Venus retrograde. This is a longer, broader color in the tapestry of our fall. We have a last quarter moon in 14 degrees of Gemini on September 5th. So it's harvest time. A last quarter moon is speaking to something that started two and a half years ago. 
So something that started in your life two and a half years ago, perhaps in the Gemini theme, uh, learning, classes, education, um, social butterfly, uh, talking, um, communication, these type of events in your life, something that started two and a half years ago is culminating right now. It's wrapping up. Right. You know, many people in the Lisa Williams community were finishing their um, CSA development. Uh, many people, you know, there's lots of opportunities for wrapping up something that you've been really studying, learning and talking about for the last couple of years. The last quarter moon marks wisdom. It marks experience gained. Um, it marks seasoned perspective. So it's time to pay things off. It's time to send your invoices. It's a time when things are wrapping up, bills are getting paid, or you're paying the bills to get things uh, out of your balance sheet. So can you provide some recognition for what's wrapping up in your life around the fifth? Uh, on the sixth, really, this whole week, guys, is great news. So on the sixth, Mercury, that planet of communication and thinking, is going to be Kazemi in the heart of the sun. So Mercury will be right in the heart of the sun. This gives us uh, psychic downloads, aha moments. It gives us quick thinking. It gives us uh, the power of knowing and this intuitive ability. Um, it gives us focused communication. Yes, Mercury is retrograde and that's okay. So what kind of things are you reworking and rethinking about? What kind of memories are coming back up that are helpful to you? What kind of memories are you making? Um, what will be more powerful under the new vision that you're having as you're reworking and rethinking some of these ideas? Mercury is going to be Kazemi or in the heart of the sun several times this year. So if you want to look back for themes, you could look at January 7th, March 17th, May 1st, July 1st, September 6th, right where we are right now, October 20th, and December 22nd. So if you use your calendar, you could go back and look at these dates and say, oh, yeah, that was when I had this great idea or that's when I started this class or that's when, you know, whatever was going on in your life, you can start to see some themes and patterns with the astrology on the eighth. The sun, the planet that influences how we shine, how we illuminate, how we sparkle in this world is in a positive aspect to the planet Jupiter, of course, retrograde Jupiter, but it's trying. So the sun is trying at Jupiter. This is a time to say yes. This is a go forward. This is um, citrine for my crystal lovers. Um, this is the sun card for my tarot and oracle card lovers. Um, this is a time to step into your big power, your big magic. That's what Jupiter represents. It's really good mojo. You can feel it coming on a day or two early. It's exact on the 8th. Um, and it will occur again on December 27th. So don't have astrological FOMO. You're not missing out on anything. You're not missing out on the time of your life. Um, just know that there's some good news in the skies this week in early September. And I look forward to being in touch with you about what's going on the rest of September. So tune back in for more later. Um, thanks for this opportunity to serve spirit and be with you all uh, with an eye to the skies as times change. Again, I'm Tiffany Harlick and namaste.